The second patient, subject 2, was a 60-year-old lady, a never smoker, diagnosed with a stage 4 lung adenocarcinoma, lung and pleural metastasis, figure 3. She received six cycles of cisplatin pemetrix as first-line therapy and achieved a partial response. Due to the discovery of an activating EGFR mutation, XN21, L858R, on the initial biopsy specimen, she received second-line therapy with erlotinib that caused grade 3 skin toxicity. Erlotinib was switched to gefitinib. The treatment was continued for 12 months with a good safety profile and stable disease. However, in January 2012 she developed a brain metastasis that was treated neurosurgically, followed by a whole brain irradiation. NGS analysis of the brain tumor revealed a T790M mutation, with an XN21L858R mutation. Due to extra brain tumor progression, she received six cycles of carboplatin pemetrix bevacizumab followed by bevacizumab maintenance therapy. In September 2012, she was enrolled in a phase I trial, catuximab combined with an DETA inhibitor, due to tumor progression. Disease stabilization was obtained for 17 months. In parallel, molecular screening was carried out in a CMET inhibitor phase I trial but fish analysis of the tumor was negative for MET amplification. In March 2014, a core needle lung biopsy was carried out on a progressive lung nodule. This biopsy confirmed the presence of a T790M resistance mutation. The patient was enrolled in the phase I of AZD9291, ORA. She started the treatment in April 2014 at a dose of ADMG slash day. A confirmed partial tumor regression, 45%, was achieved with a clinical benefit until February 2015. She received AZD9291 for 10 months until progression of pulmonary disease. She was enrolled in the MATCHR trial at Gustav Rusi and a core needle lung biopsy of a progressive pulmonary nodule was carried out. FISH results showed significant amplification of MET, 40 nuclei analyzed, average number of GMT positive cells, 21, ratio CMET slash SEP7, 5.32, DNA probe kit from Zytovision, confirmed by CGH, log ratio 0.85, and by immunohistochemistry, 100% positivity on tumor cells, figure 4. NGS analyses showed an EGFR activating mutation, XN21, L858R, but no EGFR T790M or C797S resistance mutation, and no other acquired mutations. The patient is currently being treated with a CMET inhibitor in a phase I trial.